in this tutorial session, we are going to set up Rust programming development environment in Visual Studio Code. Let's talk about the Rust programming. This is very powerful programming language often used for system programming where performance and correctness are high priorities. In this tutorial session, we will see everything in detail how to set up the Rust development environment in Visual Studio Code. Also, I will show you how to get your first Rust program and run it inside the VS Code. Let's begin. Here are some steps we are going to follow. Here the first step is we need to download and install the Rust toolset on our system. For this, please follow this link, the same link given in the description. So copy the link, open the browser, paste in the address bar, press enter. And then you will see this page. Here you have to come here in this box to install Rust, download this. So just click on this link and soon you will see one file will be downloading and the, that exe will be downloaded and we have to launch it. So I have placed this uh, exe here which is just downloaded. Double click on it and the very first window you will see like this. Rust Visual C C++ prerequisites because the installer detected some libraries are missing and uh, it wants to download and then install. So this is showing us these options. Quick install via the Visual Studio Community Installer. The second one is manually install the prerequisite. Third, don't install the prerequisites. So we are going to press one and we will move with the first option. So here at this prompt, at this prompt, we need to type one, press enter and then you will see this message downloading Visual Studio installer. So you must be connected with the internet at this time. Then you will see this kind of pop up box and press yes. Then this will show you the Visual Studio installer because this is downloading Visual Studio and installing on your machine. So what is happening in the behind the prerequisites comes with the Visual Studio installer. So this will install the Visual Studio installer and that will fulfill our prerequisites. So we need to wait for the downloading and uh, on the screen we will see this kind of uh, progress bar, the downloaded, then we will see the installed. And after that we will see this uh, window. These two things to be installed uh, on our system which are the prerequisites for our Rust programming environment. Click on the install button and wait for for the complete installation. Once the downloading is done and then the installation will happen. So this will take uh, uh, much time, but it depends on the, your internet speed. If your internet speed is good, that setup will be completed soon and the installation will be done. After that, you will see this messages here on the console. Now this will ask you that prerequisite is done. Now you want to proceed with the option. Press one, enter, and then you will see the message downloading the component. Finally, we will get this message. Rust is installed now. That is great. Press any key to close this window. Okay, now we will come back here on this notepad. The first step is done. We have installed the Rust toolset successfully on our system. Now we will install the Rust analyzer in extension in VS Code. Let's open a Visual Studio Code. Go to here, the extension search and type Rust analyzer. And then you will see so many results. Look this one. Rust Analyzer and here we have a button for the installation. So click on it and the installation will start. This time 10 to 15 seconds maximum required for this extension installation and you will get this message. 
here are the features if you want to read it please go through it now we will close this one and we will uh, relaunch the visual studio code step 3 in the step 3 we will verify the installation for this we need to open a terminal inside the visual studio code and then we need to type a simple command type rust c hyphen hyphen version press enter and you will see a message like this rust c 1.7.1.1 so if you get this message that means your rust installation rust installation is successful inside the visual studio code now guys we will follow the step four in the step four we will create a project folder and then we will create our first rust program for that i have created a folder on my system and now i'm going to open that folder here in the visual studio code so this way i will look for the project code project folder and we will open this project folder with new visual studio code window on the left hand side in the explorer you can see the project folder is appearing now what need to do we will open a new terminal and you can see we are inside our project folder so whatever we will create that will be stay here in this project folder to create a new project we need to simply type cargo high space new space the project name that you want to create i am creating a project with the name hello underscore cool it help press enter and then you will see this message okay when you expand this tree you can see the src folder in which we have one file main.rs and one file cargo.toml so in the main.rs this is our program in which we have one function and we have the print ln statement okay so we are going to print something on the console and here i'm uh, going to add one more print ln statement in this file you will get the full intellisense support here in the visual studio code when you work with the rust program so this way we have uh, edited okay this is the cargo.toml file so here we can add the dependencies as well but this time we have very simple program we don't need to add the dependency and i will show you how to run it so this is our step five in which we will see how we can run this program simple Now come back here in the Visual Studio Code at this place here in the terminal. Again, I will open the new terminal. So I have closed the previous one. To run it, I need to go inside the project folder. So I will type cd space hello cool it help now we are inside the project folder so what we need to type type cargo space, space build press enter and then you will see the message compiling hello cool it help and then you will see the message finished okay when you expand here in this uh, explorer under the project folder you will find a target folder expand this and when you look here you will have this hello cool it help dot exe file which is the compiled form of our program now guys we will see how to run it we have two ways we can simply type the cargo run command to run it and we will get the results we will get the output on the console so we have that two statements so we got the results here hello cool it help then the second statement which has been printed like share and subscribe okay now the second thing we can run our project manually for that you have to type dot backslash target backslash debug backslash debug backslash that exe name but we don't need to append the dot exe extension simple type this way 
okay this is target this is debug basically we are giving the path with the file name which is, is exe and when you press it that file will be executed so this way we can execute our program right, this is all about that setting up the rust development environment inside the visual studio code i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to support and for now thanks for watching cool id help